Are you sure you want to do this? It's not like I have a choice. I already told him that I'd give him a video in exchange for the mail. Plus, you heard what Isabella said on the variety show. Well, yeah, but you don't have to listen to everything. Yes, I do, Georgia. If I want to become just like her, I need to listen to her advice. Yeah, I guess, but shouldn't you, I mean, shouldn't Greg, your character, be working on a draft in the story for that contest in your story? Look, we don't have enough time to talk about this right now, Georgia. I've already made up my mind. Just drop it. Anyways, two days ago in that interview you did with the Variety, you said... Study those younger than you. Your children, your siblings. You can learn a lot from their uninhibited imaginations. <sighs> Isabella, I'd like to introduce you to my brother, David. Finally. <laughs> David, you have to sit on the stool. Otherwise, you won't be in frame. If I get any higher, you'll see my face. You can't see my face. The government can't get me in their system if they don't see my face. I have to remain anonymous so they can't plan for me in the future. And what are you going to do to the government in the future, David? I'm going to take them down. Oh, no. GameStop stocks, hedge funds, the death of the billionaire and the fall of capitalism. How the common man can finally fight back against the ruling class and beat them at their own game. Behold! GameStop is an old video game trading store. One that is slowly going the way of Blockbuster and Hollywood video. As we continue to usher in the digital age, we no longer have any room for such an antique store as GameStop. No one needs physical copies of their games. And no one wants to trade in their $60 games for a measly two bucks. Enter hedge funds. Hedge funds are run by super shady stockbrokers who handle the money of the richest people in the world. They invest this money by betting on failing businesses. In order to increase their winnings, they short those stocks. Or they drive the market value down of the stocks on purpose. So, they bet that the business will fail, then manipulate the system so that the system will fail even harder in order to increase their winnings. All those Redditors banded together and bought out all of GameStop stock, effectively raising the value of the stock and ensuring that the villains running the hedge funds lost their bets. Who cares about all of this? It doesn't even make sense! Gabs, you can't be serious about letting him take over our video? You heard what Isabella said in that interview. Besides, I can do what I want in my videos. Guys, what the heck? You interrupted me before I could finish telling the story. David, this is supposed to be a video about writing. I'm trying to prove to Isabella that I'm a capable writer and I've been listening to her advice. Yeah, I was getting to that. Jeez. Anyways, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, GameStop stocks. Wait. Game stocks. GameStop stumps. What? David. Right. Uh, I'll just skip to the end of what I was going to say. <laughs> this whole situation was so inspiring to me. As a young ten-year-old with dreams of breaking down the establishment, this was an inspirational moment to watch unfold. It's so easy when you're small and young like me to get discouraged and see what's going on in the world and think, how can I ever make any change? How can I make my voice heard? But the GameStop stock oh, nailed it. The situation showed that even the smallest of individuals can mess with the establishment. Is there going to be any advice in this little monologue of yours? Yes. Here it is. If you're feeling small or like your idea might not be heard, how can you rock the boat in a way that gets you the attention you need to succeed? If you truly believe in your idea, regardless of what anyone else thinks, how can you force people to notice you and take you seriously? You know? Also, can I just say how much I absolutely hate the bourgeoisie? They're ruining everything for the rest of us. That's enough from you, you little commie. You can't <laughs> silence me. The people need to know. Put me down. I hate being carried. I'm grown. Down with the bourgeoisie. Eat the rich. America. I'm coming for you. <laughs> you know, that was actually pretty good advice before he got all carried away. Thanks, Isabella. Mm -hmm.